Hi, I'm Scylla A. Joy, and today is Easter Monday, and so we are going to look at the resurrection life, what it means for us to live a resurrected life because Jesus died and was raised from the dead. So last week, we looked at the gospel. What was the gospel the good news of? What is it the good news of? And today we're going to look at the resurrection of Jesus Christ and what it means for us to live a resurrected life. So let's get right to it. The resurrection of Jesus Christ means so many things for us. So when we put our faith in Jesus Christ, what happens? Well, one of the first things that happens is his presence with us. He promises us in his word that he will send his Holy Spirit for us to live within us and to always be with us. And that's something that Jesus said to his disciples when he was with them saying, it's good that I leave you so that I can give you my Holy Spirit that can always be within you and with you. So that's the promise that there is when we put our faith in Jesus Christ. The first thing about the resurrected life is that we know that God never leaves us nor forsakes us. That's the first thing. The second thing is his peace. When Jesus was leaving his disciples, he said, peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives to you. It's a peace that comes from him, from his Holy Spirit, that the world could never give. It's peace that surpasses all understanding. It's a peace that uh, is otherworldly. That's the second thing he promises. The third thing he promises is purpose. God gives us purpose. There is a purpose that he has for each person to accomplish that no one else can accomplish. And he says in his word that there are good works that he has prepared for us to do from a long, long time ago, that he has purpose and plan for each per per person to fulfill a purpose. And when we put our faith in Christ, he reveals to us the purpose for which he placed us on this earth. And that is so powerful because it gives meaning, it gives um, just new vision to our lives. And that is priceless. And the last thing is power. God promises, Jesus promises that when he promised his disciples, rather, in Acts, that when the Holy Spirit was to come upon them, they would receive power. And when Jesus spoke to his disciples, he said to them that he gave them the authority over unclean spirits, evil spirits, to cast them out and to heal every disease and every affliction, every one of them. Now, that is a big statement that our resurrection life, putting our faith in Christ means that we have authority over every sickness and affliction and disease. Wow. Jesus also said in Matthew 10 verse 8, heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, and cast out demons. We have the authority in Jesus to do all of those things. So that in a nutshell is what the resurrection life looks like. And uh, Father, I just ask for grace for everyone or anyone who is watching this to live out the fullness of the resurrection life, to raise the dead, to heal the sick, to cast out demons, um, to go forth and be a witness in your name to what it means that Jesus, you are the resurrection and the life. And I thank you that today we remember that Jesus was raised from the dead and that he conquered sin and death and everything that held us down. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. So next week, we're going to be starting a series on singleness, what it means to be single, how to live out the fullness of God's plan and purpose as a single person. And I'm going to share with you a spoken word piece concerning just being you, me being me, you being you. All right. See you next week. Bye. He is risen.